On this video, I'm going to be talking about beautifying my garden with recycled painted tires. Come on! I have a nearby neighbor who has an auto repair shop and I asked him if he had some smaller tires that he didn't want. He told me to help myself, so we came back twice. We bought some paint. We washed them real good and cleaned them. to get them ready for the primer. The next day, we painted them with a spray paint. We chose orange for one and yellow for the other so that they'd be visible around the green foliage. I'm only planting annual flowers in my rubber containers that my vegetables and herbs will be planted directly in the soil in my islands. We chose which tire would go at the bottom and then we drill holes for drainage. We cut the tire on the top to enlarge the opening for better surface planning. And then we sprayed the other two, a pastel pink and a purple, for contrast. And this is how they turned out. Aren't they pretty? I love the pastel ones. Okay, remember that we drilled the drainage holes on the bottom of that? Okay, well, we need it now to close that big opening at the bottom with a piece of plywood. And this is necessary for soil retention. We stack the tires without attaching them to each other because the soil should be enough to hold them together. But I didn't want to attach them either because next year I may want to change the color scheme. You can lay the tires directly on the ground, but I decided to elevate them for a cleaner visibility, you know, by placing them on these two stumps. So we dug a few inches to give the stumps some stability so they don't fall. Okay, I think that looks good. Perfect. Then we gotta get it. And we had to place this, um, board as a platform for the tires. Now I'm just waiting for spring to fill my planters with flowers. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this do-it-yourself project uh, as much as we enjoy creating it for you. Here are more combinational colors that you can create. Bye bye! And as always, hit the bell, like, share, and subscribe.